Hey everyone, it's Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com and tonight we are looking at the RC Logger OSD module system. Now there's a reason why I have all these modules sitting out like this. Ultimately they would live on a helicopter or a quad or in this case they're going to live inside an Easy Star. But since I'm a newbie to the FPV world as well as the OSD world on screen display, I thought that I would lay it all out and show you what I've figured out with this system. So if you're flying through a set of goggles or through your 7-inch screen or maybe your small RC logger screen that you have mounted to your transmitter, this would allow you to get data from the modules on the craft itself to show you airspeed, temperature, things like that. And this is the brain of the system as far as I'm concerned. This is the OSD module and it is responsible for putting the graphics on your screen. The cool part about the RC Logger system is you can change the color of the graphics, you can change the layout so you can move things around, and you do this by plugging that OSD module into your computer, and you make the changes, you upload it to the OSD module, and then it's there. So I thought we would look at just uh, the way everything's hooked up. So we start here with this module. It's going out through one of the provided connectors and then we have a basic I.O. system going from module to module. So it's just jumping the information's going from one module to the other and like this, this is our environment module. And so these little uh, sensors can be put under an ESC, put in a battery compartment, can allow you to tell what the temperature is there. It also uh, tells you what the air pressure measurement is. And these are connected around to each other, sending information back into that OSD module. Another module we can look at is the orientation and G-force module. And if you look in the center of the screen here, you'll see what this thing does. It gives you precise orientation information, three axis magnetometer, an accelerometer, a realistic flight path simulator. So if you, uh, oh, here's a good thing to mention. To get the orientation right, you need to put this in the plane the correct way. And the correct way is to have those two connectors pointing towards the front of the craft. So be sure you check that out before you lock it down wherever you put it because you want it to uh, have the right orientation with your airplane. So the goal here really is just to show you, just to give you a visual of how the module system works and how all these things talk to each other and go back to the OSD. But let's talk about this guy because he's pretty interesting. Uh, this is our power and RPM module. And it does an RPM measurement. It can uh, measure six cells independent voltage and up to 12 cells. And so what this will do is give you an on-screen display and that little tap also will do this. It gives you an on-screen display of your voltage and where your battery's at, your individual cells. It depends on how far you want to go with it. But uh, while it's one of the heavier modules, and you can trim those wires down, which I did later on to lighten it up a little bit, it's also one of the more informative modules. So now we're going to talk about the camera. The RC Logger Pro is the cam that I'm running. It's feeding into the OSD not into the transmitter. The reason it's doing that is because the OSD is feeding the information into the camera and all that information is going onto your screen. Now there's another cable that would allow you to get all your OSD information onto your screen and into your SD card. And if you utilize the RC Logger software, which is the RC Logger Commander, you can take all this information and it would then be shown on your computer when you plug in your SD card and you download the bin file. And I'll go over that later on in the story. So this unit is sending all that information, transmitting it down to your screen so that you can see it. And then if you use the other cable going into the back of the RC Logger Pro, you would also have all that information stored on the SD card. So now we have everything in the Easy Star, and we're headed to the field. The goal is to show how everything works on screen. The left, the right, the up, the down. I want to take a look at how my amps are looking, uh, speed, height, 
GPS, everything. I hooked it all up. I put everything I could in this airplane. That was every module they sent me. So now we're going to take a little fly. So as a newbie to FPV, having on-screen display seemed like um, the next step. And while at first it took me a little bit of research to wrap my head around how it really worked, once I figured it out, it was really straightforward and simple. I do like that the RC logger system is module-based, so you have different pieces that you can add on or not add on if you don't need it. I really like that you can take the OSD module and plug it into your computer and arrange things the way you want and change the colors to the whatever suits you best. Lots of flexibility. I want to thank Adam at RC Logger because he was always there to answer my questions. And uh, as, a, as a continuing article for people who are looking to get into FPV um, in a simple way, this is definitely a simple system. And you could start out with just the OSD unit itself and maybe buy one or two components and add on to that. And I think uh, you'd have a nice little OSD system for your first FPV plane. Or I'm about to add this to my FPV Wraith Axle truck. I thought some on-screen display through goggles would be super cool. So there's a lot you can do with this system. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been informative. And once again... Go to rclogger.com to check them out. I'm Jim T. Graham with RC Groups. I appreciate you watching the video. And check out the news story on our RC Groups channel.